Hello, my name is Minimus, and today we are playing uh, Quantum Eternity. Um, this is the, the first, the first game to the Quantum series. Um, I think it has 120 words in it, and I had to go off site onto Game Jolt to get it because it's 2.5 gigabytes. It's a very large game, <laughs> yes. Um, Oh, uh, again, if, you, if you've seen the first word, the first video, the one before this, which is the second part of the series, um, game will be in the description again if you want to play it yourself. Um, if you haven't played it, I'm not sure what these are. Um, these are 3D, it's, 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 it's part of a, uh, a Dream Jam on HBO, but I don't think this, this, this one specifically was. Uh, but it's inspired, it's inspired by LSD Dream Emulator and Unicky. Where you, you kind of just go around worlds to walk into things, teleport somewhere else. It's a huge, messy map of a game. <laughs> and a surreal experience, so... Let's jump on in, hit the R key while exploring to come to get back here at any time. Right. Uh, and again, like the second game, we are. Inside, like a cog room. A room with gogs and gears in. Ah, uh, this is the first world. Okay. It's like a train line. First world, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. It's little shops. Oh, it's Japan. The vaporwares. Uh, oh, three ninety nine. Oh, and there's some computers, some ramen, nostalgia nugs. <laughs> oh man, I got pizza. No computer. Oh, the door has taken us. Somewhere. Oh gosh, there we go, there's Unity. Yeah, the editor. Uh I'm sure that that's like surreal painting. Again the map is Cyrodiil. Uh that's uh, Skyrim? I think that was Skyrim. We draw his mask. It's not covered. Got a cake. Corby. Kirby. <laughs> uh, oh man. It's a uh, sp Splatoon. Splat Gun. Is that Splat Junior? No, it's not Splat Junior. It's the other one. Oh. And there was something in the, uh, in the closet. Let's put the sound out. It's very loud. Scared to see where this leads. It's a person. Oh gosh. Uh, this world looks like it's hand drawn. Um, it's something I've noticed as well. They've used the uh, the default assets uh, pack in Unity. And like, when I like, tap the forwards key, it's me just tapping it. It kind of launches you forward, and there's like a delay on it. So rather than just walking forward normally and it releasing when you unpress it, it kind of pushes you forward a bit further. It, it, it it's kind of a bit annoying, but it it's fixable. Oh, apparently that took us somewhere. Like this crystal beach. Oh, it's a UFO. Gosh, what's going on here? Front end. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna edit out the previous one, I just, the room where I just did. 
um, it hurt my eyes a lot, and it was like very trippy, strippy colours. Um, yeah. So that's why. Uh, but now we're here. I just randomly fell out that world and spawned here. I don't see anything we can interact with. Let's go in and have a look. Oh. Oh, we're in a, a cog world with portals. Um. Guess we've got no choice but to pick one or the other. Oh, now where are we? In a classroom? Or a restaurant bar? We head out? Oh, it's a city. Maybe that takes us somewhere. Maybe it doesn't. I have a feeling we're uh, actually not supposed to be here. As in, you're not supposed to be walking around this far. But, uh. Oh. So that's... The heck? Graphics changed. That's probably teleports somewhere. <laughs> um, apologies if I have to, if some, if parts of this video are muted. Um, I'm gonna let YouTube do the copyright on it. Um, uh, if it comes back with a copyright claim, I'll just mute the parts of the vod, the vod, um, the video, and editing, and then re-upload it. Oh, teleported again. Now we're back here. Uh. It's just, it's just a bit easier than, or I'll replace the music with something else. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit easier to do that way. Okay, let's go to this maze. Oh, I think, oh, it's took a while to load in. Oh gosh. We're in a... Ah, oh, God, I don't it. Into those guys again. Oh, it's a kiwi bird. And he's all, he's all pink. <laughs> uh, what's this? Is this a bridge or is it teleporters? Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's like an airship. Nostalgia attacks. Yeah. Oh, do we get on this? I guess that just took us to the, the other side. New text documents. So we have to go up then. Oh, and then we're upside down. Yeah, um, that, that pile I had to remove, it was this place. But all the, the texts were all tripping out and stuff. Yeah, it was like here. That's nice to look at. Quite painful. Um... Yeah, and then I had to kind of like jump out the window. Um, actually, let's go this way. Um, oh, what the heck? Are we in like a, an office district or a shopping center district? And there's uh, the bathrooms. Caution. Oh, so I saw I had an accident with the jam. <laughs> um, 
I guess you can't go down those, but they'll probably teleport you somewhere. The amount of worlds in this 120, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to see all of them in a in this video. Um, I'll go again. I'll go for about 20 minutes and uh, just see how far I get with it. Uh, I'm not even sure if there's an end to it, but if you want to play it yourself and try and find more world, try and find all the worlds, then uh, you're welcome to. Oh, can't do it. Can't even jump down. Like it's lower floors. Ah, trash can. Looks empty. Which one do we pick? Let's go for this one. Ah, we don't fall. Good, good. So, we can go up. We can go to that thing. What the heck? Oh. What the... Strange symbol in the sky. There's like a cave. Or oh, we're in a cave, or something that resembles a cave. We can go up here, we can go through there. Oof. So many choices, but uh. Yeah. All the chase, all the choices we made ended up to this very one, this very specific point here. And trying to get back is going to be a pain. There. Some sort of ritual. Again, trying to go all the way back just to find out what was in the cave. Can't exactly do it. <laughs> uh, this looks like uh, vampire skulls. Oh, it's death. Hi, death. How's it going? Oh, now where are we? Oh. Wow. Oh, we, someone forgot to um, remove billboarding off um, the grass texture. Oh, the grass texture in the, the environment editor. In unity. <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I work with Unity Gore oh, God, there's a flash too quick. I've worked with Unity a lot. Um, I'm gonna edit out that previous one as well. That was very it's very trippy and stroby and the textures were flickering very fast. It's kinda of, again, it's quite kind of painful to look at, a bit like this. Like this is painful to look at the bright colours in the dark room. Oh. And it's gone. And it's there. Now it's gone. And now it's a uh, rectangle. Can we fall down? Oh. What the? What's going on here? Is there a way over there? Is this an invisible maze? This feels like an invisible maze. Where are we now? I shouldn't ask the question since I don't think anyone's gonna know. Oh. Oh gosh, I kinda see. Uh, 
Um, I think that's intentional. Because she's supposed to be like this kind of distorted. Oh. I do not know how I... Uh... <laughs> Welcome to the secret dev room. Uh, things may be a bit unstable, but there's a lot to do. To... I, I have absolutely no idea how I got here. Um, just looking at the, the comments, there is no map. No one's made a map on this game. This is the first time I've played it. I just booted it up and go, oh, let's see what's around. That's a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, uh, the room a bit unstable, but there's lots to see and enjoy. Okay, so there's the characters. Nostalgia. Oh gosh, that banana. I swear I've seen that before somewhere. Uh, it's fences. Oh gosh, elephant. Oh. Like it's gonna trip out. Ah, unused dreams and ideas. Okay, let's have a, let's have a quick look at the unused, unused ideas. And that's going muted. So I'm fairly sure that that is copyrighted. Is your statue? Oh. No wind turbines. Sorry, nothing. Oh. Ah, this is like a wedge of bees. Yeah, let's fall off. Okay, and we're back here. Right, let's try a different one. I'll go for I go for a bit longer than the record for a while. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh, we're back here. Um. We kind of had explored this, so I'll just hit the R button. Let's actually try and not fall off. Uh, let's try and get through any any portal. Anywhere will do. So it doesn't crash the game. Good. Medieval fair. And there's the bagpipes. Pretty sure that's not copyright. Hello there. <laughs> Some cooked food. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a what? I, d I don't want to leave this world because I, I, I want to explore it because it looks interesting. <laughs> uh, oh, the tapestry. Oh gosh, that looks like a wizard's tower. Um, I kind of want to go outside. I'm not sure how you would do that. Oh, there's a library. Oh, right in my element. A library. Away from people. You can just organize books. Wow. Oh, well, you're a colourful character. Oh, no world map. Um, I might record the other game, actually, the, the third one that the developers made. After this. 
they'll probably I'll probably upload them in a odd order, but it's fine. Oh, this one's all distorted. Texas are moving. Tree. Coffins. Skeleton. Oh. What are they? Is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess I died. Yeah. I guess if you fall out the world, it classes you guys you died. So you have to kind of go there. And it's supposed to be in like hell or purgatory. So you have to like talk to the, the Grim Reaper or go to him to go to the next area. But honestly, I think it's as easy just to reset. <clears throat> So we've kind of already reset. <laughs> Since we're already seated what's there. Um there we go, that's the one. I head back to the uh head back to the place with the bagpipes. Can we jump out the window actually? No. Um. <clears throat> but, uh, the main thing I'm worried about is if I have to go back through and edit all these, edit all the audio because oh, copyright claim, copyright claim. Copyright. As YouTube likes to do. The heck is that? It's like a purse made out of corpses and there's a goat or a sheep. Oh. What happens if we run into a sheep? Run into the big one. I hate to try and uh, <clears throat> avoid looking at it for too long. It's, uh, it's anyone's eyes. Ah, oh, isn't this a pleasant one? It's crystals. Statue, it's uh, water and a nice... It's a protective little uh, wall around us. Hit the statue. Oh gosh. Oh, that's weird. At least it isn't uh, strobing lights and whatnot like before. Uh, unfortunately, I have to be careful not to fall off because. Oh, it's those things. Oh gosh, the magic roundabout theme is playing. I might have to copyright, well, remove it. Copyright. Ah, uh, oh, no, it's time to strobe. Okay, let's get out. Um. Uh, oh. What the? It's like Mario? Oh man, it's so sad. <sighs> yeah, um... Oh no. Seems to have got charm everywhere. But yeah, this is a lot of music. Oh gosh. 
I'll, uh, wait for you to get on with it. Whatever it is you're doing. Uh, I will keep going up here. It's a weird cartoony world. It's a bit bad. It's leaving. Oh. What the? Oh, and there's that guy again. Go. Oh, now we're back here at the beach. We're not going to make the same mistake we did last time. Oh, here I And I was walking to those crystals. That weird ritual was going on. Uh, let's try the shrine. What the heck? It's a chicken. Oh gosh, uh, that's a reference to the Teletubbies. I think that might actually be a screen cap. And it's just filtered. Oh gosh, it's going back. Let's go to the chicken. I want me nuggies. You're walking nuggy. Uh, how about that? Kiwi. This one's yellow. Oh, is that one going to take us anywhere? Oh, it's back here. Can I get too close to that thing? Let's go through the lighter one. Let's see where it takes us. Oh, it's a computer. Uh, oh, now we're back here. Um, let's hit the restart. I will check this one on the on the left here. the hospital. Again, uh, I think that's wingdings or webbings, one of the two. It's hospital trolleys. It's a pizza. Radiation. Oh, that looks trippy. up here again. Okay, um, I've just finished this run. I'll keep keep going for a minute. Oh, at least it's here. I think we fell off last time, but hopefully not this time. Uh, there's like something there. We'll go check it out. Oh. Oh, we don't want to fall down. Oh, God. <laughs> what the? Those arrows? Oh no, they're like little plants. Wow. Anyway, um... I think this, this, um, this seems like a good place to kind of finish it on. Um, it's always very interesting. Um, I felt the colliders were a bit too clippy. They were too big on some things. Which meant we just, we just kind of ran, ran around very, very fast. I, I, 
very much doubt that I've scratched the surface of this game. Um, there is like a hundred and twenty odd worlds. And we went, well, about, maybe about twenty, if that. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a collectibles or if there's... But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you like. Game will be in the description. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.